And joining me now to speak about these new appointments is a public affairs analyst, Bola Oba. Good to have you join us, Bola Oba. Now, after many months of calling for the sack of the service chiefs, um, finally, the president has replaced the, 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 the old service chiefs and now their new service chiefs. But how confident are you uh, that this change will translate to uh, delivery, uh, in the, in delivery of results? Inevitably, there will be some positive results from this, inevitably. And the reasons are, one, uh, these new chiefs will be coming with new, uh, with new strategies, with new energies. These new chiefs will also uh, not will also not be handicapped by the unspoken but silent rebellion of many many senior officers who, because of the, the president not changing the former chiefs, uh, who felt their service lives were not going to culminate at the very zenith of, of, of what it should be. So in a way, uh, these new chiefs are coming, are coming about now, not only with new initiatives, new strategies, uh, new methodologies of engaging the of engaging the asynchronous enemy but indeed the 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 pressure to want to not give their best especially by senior officers who felt that their own careers were being uh, were being jeopardized for the careers of others would uh, would seem a bit And thanks for staying with TVC News. We were speaking to um, public affairs analyst Bola about just before the break. And um, we lost connection, but now we have been able to reestablish connection. And Bola, but just before that break, I was asking you um, if you think, if you're worried that perhaps these, um, the previous service chiefs lingered for too long in office and we have lost a lot of grounds and that might make it very difficult for the new, the new service chiefs to record um, success early enough. Uh, to be very honest with you, uh, I don't want to. I don't want us to be that pessimistic. Uh, yes, we're dealing with an insurgency that does not quite combat or engage in the conventional methodology of warfare. Uh, we're dealing with synchronous warfare, and uh, these uh, gentlemen, the new chiefs, are no strangers to the methodology of the enemy. Uh, you must remember that the chief of defense staff was once a commander of an international force and was also a theater commander. Uh, the chief of army staff was once a, a theater commander. So uh, um, one who believes that we must not go gaga on optimism, but our pessimism too must be reined in. That's just my take. And I'm very sure many Nigerians share your cautious optimism. A public affairs analyst, Bola thanks for talking to us. Thank you very much for the opportunity once again.